Hello, fellow Marines and friends and family of Marines. Greetings from our headquarters bunker here in Bellevue. Lorraine and I remain hunkered down with only trips to the store and our rental houses. My main message today is if you need something, if you need help, holler. Remember, we are your support group, and if you need something, let us know. That's why we're here, and we'll do whatever we can to help. I also want to encourage you, as I've said in the email, to attend our virtual meeting on Saturday, May 16th. To attend means just to join it on the web. We're going to start at 1030, so it will be between breakfast and lunch and not interfere with your meals at home. Your executive committee has been testing out both Zoom and Cisco WebEx with friends and family to pick out the system we want to use. If we can do it and the NFL can do it, you know it isn't that hard. And we'll help you get up and running. Just let us know now so we can have some time to get you going. Once you use it, you'll see it's really a kick to see several friends and family on your screen all at once. If you want us to help, reply to staff at wamarine.org. That's the email address, the link that was in this email that transmitted the video. And uh, tell us first that you want to play, and second, if you'd like us to help. We'll, we'll get back to you. We'll help walk you through the process. I'm hoping that we can get folks from all across the state. John o Okerman and Leslie from up in Anacortes. Chuck and Judy Temple from down in Vancouver, Joe Escamillo in the Tri-Cities, Jim and Sharon Given from Yakima. So round them up, bring them in. Lastly, as I wrote in the email suggesting calling a fellow Marine, Fred Radke made my night tonight when he called to check up on me and my family. What a great guy. And he promised to have his horn handy on the 16th for the meeting. And he said that if enough of you wrote back and gave me some ammo, then he might just play a tune for us. So take that as a challenge. Write back and let us know you're out there. And vote for Fred. Speaking of music, I've told several of you, I know I talked to Jock Craig about this. Um, that song in the background has become my new favorite song. It's called Don't Let the Old Man In. And it's by Toby Keith. And there's a great story about how he wrote it for Clint Eastwood. I first saw it on messages from Chris Tibbs and Gordy Jacobson. So it's on the web, and so it has to be true. So check it out. And it'll help you get out of bed every morning. That's what I use. Semper Fidelis. Head out.